All right, guys. So, with only a few exceptions, everyone here has been working tirelessly for all of class um, on the three things, the uh, brainstorming, outlining, and composing. Uh, composing. Uh, those of you who are finished, raise your hands. All right, so we got one, two, three finished. It leaves about half uh, unfinished. Okay, that's not so bad. If I gave you another 15 minutes, would that be enough time? I think so. I think All right, I could do it in 15 minutes. I push it to 20 minutes, would that be enough? I think I could do it in 15 minutes. All right, I'll, help, I'll type it up for you since you have it um, on scratch paper. I'm fast, very fast. However, we'll deal with that as it comes. There's one thing I'd like to hammer home, though. Can I get your eyes over here, please? Mr. McGovern, don't you turn those baby blues <laughs> on me, man. Blues, uh, green. All right, eyes this way, if you'd be so kind. Very good, very good. So, before we finish anything, and before we peer review anything, and especially before we present, there are two things you're going to do to your document. All right? The first is have your name and date on it. And it should also be in the uh, title of wherever you save your paragraph. Um, My name should? Yeah. Right. Well, not your name, but the name's already on. The name of what? Yeah. Right. Date, okay. etc. But it okay. should be in the document proper itself. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, name and date. This is simple stuff. I realize you're probably looking at me like you're wasting our time, you, you vested fool. And I'm like, yes. But I would argue I am not wasting your time because I'm reminding you just on the slim chance that you've forgotten. Also, spell check. This is relevant, but less relevant uh, given our particular subject since Burr Rabbit and Loki are both not officially English words. Um, ignore what the spell check has to say about them. You know you spelled them right. Everything else, though, eyes peeled. Okay? So, in about 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to, um, you know, do some peer review, and then we're going to present here in front of the camera, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Keep in mind, and I also should point this out for people who are peer reviewing, which is everyone. If there's an odd number, I'll do it. Um, edit for content, but also edit for what you think someone can actually say in a presentation on the subject. Like, if it seems like a lot of stiff and big words, like if you're using a word like loquacious or, you know, vulpine and it doesn't fit, I see a lot of people trying to use this word. Since we're talking about tricksters today, you could use the word vulpine, but don't, you know, like, try to pound the round uh, peg into the square hole, you know? No, 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 I'm no, saying, saying you don't. I'm saying, saying you don't. don't. Yeah. I'm saying, I know, damn it is right. That's how I feel. But we, we crawl before we run, right? So, is everything clear? Keep an eye to content, form, and style. And a good way to do this is have the person read it out loud to you like you're an audience of one. You know, it's all about how you present yourself. And if you, uh, since we're dealing with tricksters today, if you want to tell a story about them, tell a story like you're telling it to your kids, or your brother, or your parents, whatever your ordinary situation for telling story is, act like you're talking to them. Entertain us. This is great practice. The more comfortable you are with your situation and your information, the better it is for everyone watching, believe me. I just talked to Chris Heisen maybe five minutes ago, and he told me something very interesting. And I think you guys, it's quite applicable to you. The best way to give a good presentation is to know what you're talking about. So know what you're talking about, Jeff, sure. guys. And we can tell if you enjoy talking about it or not. All right? So that being said, at about 3.50, we're going to uh, start the peer review. And then onward to presentations. We're going to do the vocab and the typing test last as a sort of relaxation part since it's familiar to you guys. Alright? Everyone else? Keep going guys.